and welcome back to Fashion Attack. For those who don't know me, my name is Mikal and I'm an interior designer from Tel Aviv and on this channel we love to remake any sort of super high design for a very, very tiny budget. Room makeovers, furniture, incredible couches, everything that you have in your mind. On today's episode we're literally gonna make an Instagram follower dream come true. Actually, it was a husband sending it to me as a present for the wife, which is so sweet. So I literally couldn't wait to make this happen. We exchanged like hundreds of pictures on Instagram of all the ideas that he had. And at the end, we came out to make a super simple one with a crazy print on top. And yes, the real price on the market is unpronounceable. So buckle up your belt, my friends, because we are ready for such a long journey. There was so much wood to cut, so much mathematics to do, but no worry, for you, it's just gonna be a screenshot of all the calculations I did. Like hanging the glasses from the top, like against gravity, this was something I needed to think about like for two hours. Let's get this project started. You're waiting? What? What? Okay, we go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Take out your ruler or anything with which you can measure because obviously we do not have any sort of technological equipment. And then you start taking the measurements so to draw the lines of which you're gonna need to cut the woods out. Yes, I made you the precise instructions at the beginning so that you can follow those and you don't have to make any calculations. And here you see me drawing the little lines that are gonna create the blockings of the alcohol bottles on the bottom of the cabinet. And then you draw the lines to connect all of them. And then there's gonna be so much cutting. First the cutting of the boards on the top, then there's also the cut of the sides, then there's the cutting of the supports for the glasses, then there's the cut of the side again. Basically there's a lot of cutting guys. Before we continue, it's super important to give a huge shout out and thank you to my patron subscribers and that is Leila, Kismet, Mom, Asia, Shalom, and Zari. You can definitely join my patron subscribers clicking on the link down below. And you're gonna have the advantage of being part of polls to choose what are gonna be my next episodes, what to do with my new studios, with my life in general. And you're gonna have advanced entry to all my videos. This means you can see them in advance compared to anybody else. And also, you can chit chat with me. I can help you with your makeovers. Now that you have dozens of pieces of wood lying all over your floor, it's time to paint them in the color that you prefer. I decided to do a very matte black and I had to do several of layers of this. So I gave two layers while it was wet, wait for it to dry and then the day after I went in and made a third layer on top of all of it. Once you finish painting everything, it's finally time to assemble it and I thought it was way easier if we were gonna build first all the tiny pieces that are the stoppers for the bottles and the stoppers for the top of the glasses instead of creating the external box because after you can't really put your hands inside. So that's exactly what I did. There we go. Everything is nice and dry and it's time to assemble the entire boxing divided in sections. I decided to make first the two bottom lines that are gonna be the ones that are blocking the bottles of wine on the bottom. So all you do is stick the three, three centimeters lines that we cut it, the ones that were eight plus the halves are the ones that we connect on the outside. So yes, the two external ones, instead of being three are half and half, one and a half and one and a half and after that because we do not want to see the glue after everything is dry we go in and paint also the little extras of paint for the top part of the cabinet instead we want the glasses to hang upside down and how are we gonna do that that's simple we created some volume where there's emptiness inside so that the glass can get stuck inside from the bigger part that is the bottom of the glass basically we created first the volume of one centimeter on a half and then on top of it, we are applying the four centimeters ones. You can now totally go and create your box. I created and drew this cabinet so that the top and the bottom of the box would be internal compared to the vertical lines. So as you can see, the bottom, that is one that is holding the wine bottles, is also laying inside the two external lines and that's why even though we drew it of only 76 centimeters, at the end it's gonna 
B and 80 centimeter cabinet. After you apply the first one, we apply also the second line. And after we have both the two layers of the wine holders, it's time to create also the third vertical horizontal line. That is the one where we're gonna put the normal glasses and also the big bottles of alcohol, tequila, vodka, and whatever you can imagine. Every 15 centimeters, I made a little line so that I could mark where to apply the other two horizontal lines that we created that are the one of 16 centimeters. And then in this way, we can create two little departments where to put our drinks or glasses or bottle openers, whatever. You're actually gonna see me very soon regretting the choice of the screws or better, the holds for the screws that I was making because the screw did not fit all the way in. So it was creating some very unesthetical volume and I decided to take all of them out and take out the big guns. Yes guys, this piece of equipment is amazing. Yeah, pretty dirty because I tested it already, but yeah. What it makes is a bigger hole for the head of the screw inside the wood. This way, when you screw your screw inside, it's gonna go with the head inside the wood and it's not gonna create any volume. And when you cover it with the wood filler, it becomes perfectly nice and smooth. So I basically did all the work again, unscrewed everything, remade the hole, re-put the screws inside, and it was perfect. <sighs> perfect. Now, what are we gonna do for the legs? In my case, because I told you that I was gonna make a totally crazy print at the end, I decided to go pretty minimal with the legs, and I went with this black. Super cool shape, but you can totally go for golden, sparkly, colorful, pretty shapes, whatever you want. The extra thing that I decided to do was adding doors to my cabinet. I didn't want the alcohol to be exposed all the time. I prefer to be like a secret thing hidden inside this pretty cabinet. So I created two drawers, put them inside with this little technological metallic thing you can buy basically at any utility store and guys I love it when a project comes out perfect at the first shot look at this it fit perfectly I was so excited about this yes Attach now the 80 times 90 piece of wood that we cut it. It's the thinnest ply wood you can find. And finally, it's time for our wood filler. All these holes have to be closed and make them as smooth as possible so that if you do not decide to put any crazy print on top and just leave it as it is, it's still gonna look perfect, professional, amazing, and smooth. It's a very easy process. You just have to go through all your holes. So guys, like always, I hope you had fun. And if you want a super simple, and clean result for your alcohol cabinet. You can totally leave it like this. You just need to add the last layer of black paint or any color that you want your cabinet to be. So to cover all the wood filler that we created in advance. But if you want a super, super, super special and eye-catching piece in your living room, just wait for the end of the reveal because there's a second reveal with our crazy print on top. That just came so good.